Good morning, it's 9.30 a.m. Coffee time, a uh, nice civilized start today. Uh, I can't get out of White Hills. It's on the northeast coast of Scotland, just down from the Moray Firth. And um, I'm just waiting for enough water to come into the harbour. It's been lovely here, actually. But winter is coming. It got down to five degrees last night, so I was snug in my sleeping bag, but it was cold outside. Um, so I'm keen to get going, but I've got to wait for the water to come up a little bit get over the sandbanks and whatnot and then round to beat the head maybe 10 hours hopefully not too much more so I can get in before it's dark um, just putting topping up the diesel topping up the oil and a lovely uneventful sail yesterday and more of the same today at the moment there's no wind I've got three forecasts one of 15 knots on the nose one of no wind and one of northeast. Anyway, the weather, weather forecasts are all over the place, but um, nothing scary. So off we go. And we're off. Goodbye, White Hills. It's quite tight, quite shallow. Got a very friendly chap here, Birdie. Welcome you in. So I have to stay very close to these boats in this wall, although I'm going to run aground. So, um, and that's the entrance over there. Just, Just leaving the maze that is lovely white holes. White hills, all so clear. Very much open. There's no boat coming around the corner. It's very shallow. Open ocean. Freedom. You can see just how clear the water is. I thought the east of Scotland was going to be murky water, but it's not. So far, it's basking sharks and gin. Having a lovely sail. Nearly five knots, close to the wind, so a good, good heel on the boat. Um, it's lovely, really. I'm a little bit thinking that it's going to be rough when we go around the headland in a couple of hours. Then we're going to have the whole effect of the North Sea. Um, yeah, that might be fun for a few hours, but um, for now it's ideal with you know, flying along, close to the wind, very nice. But when we go around the corner, we might be right in the nose and the seas might pick up and it's a bit of a notorious so that'll be interesting but anyway here we go Sailing along nicely for a few hours, sunshine and a good stiff breeze. We're dipping the edge in quite a lot, so a good tip. And then suddenly the edge is always in, and I thought it might be time to get some reefs in. And it's amazing when you turn the boat into the wind, and all of a sudden like, it's like, it feels like hell breaks loose, everything flapping around. So I put a big reef in the mainsail, uh, messing around. And in the um, head sail and we're still doing four and a half knots that's fine um, the concern is still once we get around this headland in an hour or two we're gonna be going it's gonna be wind against tide we'll have the tide with us but um, there's quite a few warnings about saying five miles offshore and anyway so the plan is to go and have a look and it's really horrible 
then I can always go back to where I was tonight, or there's a possibility of Fraserburgh Harbour. Um, but um, I don't know. I think the thing is to press on for a few hours, and if it's suddenly really hairy, scary, I'll just turn around and go back to where I was tonight. And that's that's an easy option. So we'll see. Okay, I'm now tacking out to the headland. Not ideal, the wind's coming from where, where I don't want to go. Good thing about that is if I get around this headland, then hopefully I can get down in one tack. That'll make life a lot easier. So, uh, slow going right now. We shall see. So, over there. I think it's called the Peterborough. No. I can't remember the name. Headland, and then we go around that one. And then it's wrapped through head. It's all getting a bit windy. I've got really big reefs in. In the afternoon, I'm sailing close hauled the big reef in, and um, I have to say, the boat was loving this. Big waves, of this. and um, she's saying this all day long. Punching out a little bit. I think about an hour and a half away from Peterborough, when you look, and um, it's all going really nicely. Again before dark, um, Peter Head got a bit bouncy at times. Um, it's like just a, a big working harbour, really. The little marina stuck on fishing and oil platforms and wind farms. I think it's quite a walk into town, but 
but um, I don't mind, honestly. <laughs> it's um, heat up a nice can of chili and some ready rice. A couple of mugs of peppermint tea and some nice dark chocolate. And sleep, I think. I'm quite relieved to get here actually, but it was fun. All good.